Okay, hello Cloud Gurus. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much for taking this course. I hope you had lots of fun. It's now time to book your exam and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So I want you to go over to aws.training and you'll see a landing screen similar to this. Go ahead and click sign up if you haven't signed up already. And when you do sign up, make sure you use your amazon.com credentials or .co.uk or .de or wherever it is that you are using Amazon. And then that way you can use the same password that you sign into your Amazon account uh, to the training and certification uh, portal as well. I've already signed up, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. And I'm just gonna go in and sign in now. And once you've signed in, you'll get a splash screen similar to this. Amazon have a whole bunch of different videos in their learning libraries. It is all free, so you can go ahead and check that out when you've got time. But don't worry, this course has prepared you everything you need to know to pass your exam anyway. So all you wanna do is click on the Get AWS Certified. That will load the AWS certification landing page and just click in here. And that will open up a new tab uh, and it will send you over to the Cert Metrics site. Now here, this is where you go ahead and schedule your exams. Up here, you've got your upcoming exams, previous exams, your digital badges that you get, your achieved certifications, and then you can go in and use your certifications to buy unique swag. So do check that out under benefits once you've passed. Let's go ahead and hit schedule new exam. And it really is that simple. It's going to send you over to this website and you'll be able to go ahead and select the exam that you want. So I'm gonna look for the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam, which is in here. Um, or you could do Cloud Practitioner. Cause I've already done Cloud Practitioner, it won't show up for me though. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit schedule exam. And just go ahead and hit continue. Just gives you a warning that sometimes if there's a beta exam that's running concurrently with a normal exam that you could be selecting the wrong one. And you go in and select your language. And so I'm gonna do mine in English. And there it is, that's basically it. It will find your test location, basically it will determine your location and it will show you the nearest testing centers that are around you. The reason I'm getting an error message is the last day in February today, but if I go ahead for March, I should be able to find testing centers all over London. So there we go. So now that you know how to book your exam, what's next? Well, you can go on and get the Certified Developer Associate or Certified SysOps Administrator Associate. I would recommend doing either one of those or both. Once you've got the Solutions Architect Associate, you can can go on and do the Solutions Architect Professional. I wouldn't recommend um, doing Solutions Architect Professional until you've passed your Solutions Architect Associate, but you can do that now if you want. Or you can go on and do the specialties. The specialty certificates are in networking, security, big data, machine learning, as well as Alexa. And the next thing I would ask you to do is subscribe to our weekly TV show. It's called AWS This Week. It's on YouTube as well as on the A Cloud Guru platform. It's a great way to stay up to date with AWS. It's five minutes or less and we just tell you what AWS AWS have rolled out this week. It's a really simple way of keeping up to date with everything. So once you pass your exam, please tag me on LinkedIn or tweet me. This allows me to know that everyone's passing. Uh, and I, I also makes me really, really happy as well. And if you want to meet us in person, we're at AWS summits all around the world, or we're always at reInvent as well. So thank you so much for doing this course and keep being awesome cloud gurus.